Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is BTD and welcome to another review video. So as some of you guys know, I did a review on the WRC7 game. Uh, that was nearly a year ago, I believe. And a lot of you guys seemed to like it. It was very um, interesting, some of the feedback. Obviously the gameplay wasn't as good, but now the gameplay should be sharp. I don't know what I'm going to put over this. Hopefully like a Haas car or in Germany or something like that. That's what I feel like I want to do. And that's probably what I'll come out with, but hopefully the gameplay should be better than it was before in my last review video. But yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Formula 1 2018, the game. Give you guys my honest thoughts on the game, how it works, and things that they could improve maybe. But I might leave that to another video. But without further ado guys, let's get in to this Formula 1 review. So as a lot of you guys know, I love racing. I love racing games, I love motorsport in real life, and anything that really has an engine and four wheels. So, what I thought I would do is take my time, give you some good things, some bad things about the game, and maybe some of my personal opinion on what they could do to improve the game. But, I wanted to make this video like a month and a bit, I believe this game has been out in advance, or ahead, should I say, sorry, just so I can give you guys my honest opinion, because there's a lot of people out there like IH, IHG, IGN and people like that who are bringing you reviews straight as the game launches now Yes, this is going to give you a lot of um, Views and things like that because the game is very hot at that moment But I want to give you guys my honest opinion after playing a season and a half at the minute of career mode and Yeah, just tell you guys my thoughts on whether you guys should buy it So let's start off with the good things about the game. So let's start off with career mode and the new and improved interviews now, if you guys are a fan of the Codemasters slash Formula 1 games, then you'll know back in 2010, I believe, they brought in a feature of the interviews where somebody would come up to you and they would interview you like you were a real Formula 1 driver. And then you'd be able to give your own thoughts, what you guys thought of the race, qualifying, things like that. And it was a really, really good feature. Now, they decided in F1 2018 to bring it back in again. Now, the only issue I have with these interviews is that they're giving you really long sentences which is always good for an interview but you don't have enough time to be able to read through them all uh, like detailed and be able to pick you know I want to pick that one You're sort of rushing with your mind thinking uh, which one I'm gonna pick and I sort of feel they need to up the ante or even not have a time limit at all maybe you could have a limited amount of time to pick that one um, that one answer that you really think will help you in your career and your morale for the team and maybe other teams that are looking at you. But overall, I feel the interviews is a key point in the game which they've added which has helped the game a lot in making you feel like a real Formula 1 driver, which obviously career mode is trying to entail. So I feel this is a definitely a good step in the right direction for Formula 1, but there definitely needs to be a few tweaks about that. And this is meant to be the good part about it, damn. But yeah, let's move on to the Halo system. So when... The announcement was made that a Halo system will be coming into Formula 1. Now, if you don't know what the Halo system is, it's basically a big circular thing that goes around the driver's head, which stops them from being injured and, like, you know, knocked out, things like that, even killed when a car is near their helmet. So, unfortunately, we've had this issue before with Jules Bianchi back in 2014, which is a very, very sad situation where... He was sadly killed by a, I think it's like a tractor or a digger that came out to the circuit at the Japanese Grand Prix to help lift in Nico Hulkenberg's car, if I'm correct. And unfortunately, he lost control on the wet and went crashing into this digger. Now, it could have this hopefully have been um, stopped with the Halo system, so I think that's why they brought it in, which is definitely, it was a definitely controversial thing coming into the 2018 season as people thought it looked ugly. Now, with me, yes, I wasn't a fan of it. Obviously, open uh, helmet stuff, being able to see that, is always a good thing for the sport and things like that. But over time, I've actually grown to quite like, quite like it, especially on the Red Bull and the Ferrari. I think it looks really, really nice. And people might disagree with me on that. People might not. But in the game, they've actually entailed it to look really, really cool. I was expecting the game to be quite bad, seeing as you've got the Halo system and you might... Be like, oh, I can't really see anything, so I'm not really going to enjoy the game that much. But personally, I think that it gives the game a very cool look. And it, like, immerses you more into the game of this is the new regulations for the year. And you'll be able to, uh, you know, become one with the sport. 
I think it's been a really, really good thing to add. Ho obviously, there was discussions that they weren't going to add the Halo. You could have an option to turn it off completely and just have an open cockpit, if you want to call it that. But I really thought that would take away from the game. Obviously, there's people that run without the little bit down the middle of your Halo when you're looking in um, helmet cam. But I, I'd like to leave it on and have it as realistic as possible. And yeah, I just think it's a really, really cool thing to have in the game, especially if it's in real life Formula 1 as well. And the last thing I want to cover in the good things about the game is the graphics. Now, cool. if you remember back to Formula 1 2017, if you did play that game, you'll know the graphics were very... Uh, very neutral, very natural, very very bland if you want to call it that. Now people disagree with me and say that the graphics are very very good which you know I respect your decisions but personally for me I think they could have done a lot better but for this game they have gone up and beyond with the graphics. If you look like just before the race starts you'll see all the planes flying over the grid things like that. The graphics are unstoppably good. I believe if you have an Xbox One X then you'll know that um you can have 4K resolution, which I think is bonkers. And it really gives the game that sort of natural feeling of becoming a real Formula 1 driver. Because you'll be able to like really notice little key things in the game and things like that. You might be thinking I'm a bit of an idiot for saying that, but I really truly think that the graphics help you immerse yourself into the game. And I feel they did a really good job, because they covered in one of Codemasters' videos in how they updated the graphics which you can go check out on the Codemasters YouTube channel and I think it's really insightful to see how much they've changed in like the trees at Spa to the buildings in Monaco and yeah I think it's just a really really good thing that they've added to the game so there's only two things I really have to really complain about this game and it was obviously the interviews which I did mention before where they could be adding more time or no time at all to the interviews itself maybe add somebody from real life formula one to um do the interviews maybe have lee mckenzie from channel 4 do it or natalie pinkham from sky sports or like they've done already with uh, david croft and anthony davidson you could have like paul DeResta or something like that from sky sports in there just to make the game feel a bit more realistic because we don't know who this claire person is and I just feel like someone like Lee or Natalie would be a really, really good addition to the game. Now, the one thing that a lot of people complained about and are still complaining to this day is the multiplayer system in Formula 1 games. Now, if you remember back to 2017, you'll know the game was very desyncing. It was very... you couldn't go wheel to wheel with each other. And that was the real shame coming from multiplayer seeing as that's what you guys wanted to do if you wanted to go into a league race and you wanted to battle side by side through a rouge or something like that you can't do that because of the desyncing and you'll just crash right into each other without actually doing it so they brought out multiple updates for this game 2018 i'm talking about and it still hasn't improved at all maybe we'll get more updates in the future which will correct this desyncing and all this crap that we're getting at the minute but which i hope but i believe code masters if you are watching this that's something you really need to focus on for F1 2019. I know it's in production, hopefully, and you may want some help and things like that. So, yeah, focus on multiplayer. Get that desyncing out completely. Obviously, you can't help people's connections, but there's, there's something that they still need to do, I believe, to really fix multiplayer before I really dive into it. Because at heart, I'm really an online player, but at the minute, I'm just having to stick to career mode more because online is just a bit naff at the minute. But yeah, guys, that is my conclusion of Formula 1 2018. Now, F1 has made a massive jump in its 2017 game to its 2018 game. And to me, my personal opinion and the conclusion to this, I'm going to give this game a 7.5 out of 10. Now, this game has made some massive improvements and definitely jumped in the correct direction into becoming an amazing game. But I don't think we have finally reached that pinnacle of being an amazing game. I think there's still things to come with this, maybe adding new things into the game, which I will hopefully be covering in a video if you guys want me to do that. Maybe cover what they could add to career mode and things like that. But leave it down in the comments if you guys want to see that. And yeah, I think it's really come in its stride it's on its way but we're still 
I'll say a few years out before finding that perfect game. But yeah, that's it guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you want to, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of the videos that I'm going to make again. And leave a like if you guys did enjoy this. And leave a comment down below of what you guys think of Formula 1 2018 if you play it. If you're going to go out and buy it because of this video, I'll be greatly, uh, greatly appreciated to find out if you did or so. But yeah, guys, that's been it. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys later.